Did we get finished with the Bulldogs? No, uh, no I think we we're not finished. We did not get finished. Don't with that. <laughs> where, are you, where do you assess that it's had, given it was your story from the start and we've heard from Paul DiMartino? What All do you right, think? Let me just tell you that the uh, Twitter, which I like to look at, mm-hmm. um, suggests that Dimmer may not have <laughs> been absolutely up front. I'm not saying he wasn't, but that's, the, that's been the general consensus. Well, Gary, he, he wasn't up front. And, and I'm happy to say that. He just wasn't up front with what he'd... Uh, but he may have changed doing. his mind. I mu- well, he has changed his changed mind. His he has, mind. Has, no, may have changed his mind. He has changed his mind. Um, clearly something's happened this afternoon because uh, that's not where he was at right up until this afternoon. And uh, look, I, I'm happy to say that because that is the case. He has been meeting with guys. As I said last night in the footy show, he, is, he, was, he was the one name I mentioned. Um, and that was the one guy I could confirm. There's other names that I couldn't confirm and... I've spoken to them today. I still reckon they're involved, but I'm not prepared to go with them yet. But they have been dealing with this, and they had an intention to go and see David Smorgan. And these other guys still do. It's uh, Dimmer, as we know, as I'm happy to say now, he has, he has been Noble Darcy, and I reckon it might have been. Yeah, maybe, I'll as the back of what you said. Damo, two things I know for sure. Yep. One, Luke Darcy is a David <laughs> Smorgan fan. Two, he's hit Dimmer right between the eyes today. <laughs> well, now, I didn't hear any of the build-up to no, the story. That's unfair. I didn't see it last that's night. That's unfair. I heard that interview cold tonight, the first, you know, the first time I'd heard from Paul DiMartino, and I thought it was very sketchy. Well, it was very, very vague. It didn't address the questions that were being answered. And, Duke, I don't no, think he did himself any favours with that interview. I'm not uh, exclusively a fan of David Smith. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of, you're a fan. I'm a, absolutely. I'm a fan of the well, job that he's done. Well, then done we're, we're in the, heated uh, agreement, Duke. Absolutely. But to suggest that I've gone and nobbled Dim is... I didn't say... Is, I said you hit him between is, the eyes with a few home truths today. That's oh, insulting. insulting. Insulting to him. How is that it's insulting? to him. It's not insulting well, to me. What it, what it may that do that suggests that I've got some magical ability for him to change his mind, which... Where are you coming in from? I Michael think Wolf? you've got a lot of power. That's what that, I'm saying. I do. I think you're influential. I oh, know. Well, I've not been smart. I think. Why are you and laughing at me when you say it? I'm not Why laughing. You you're are. laughing at me. But it, as Jim pointed out, it, sometimes your mates need to do that and say, mm. listen, these are the ramifications of your actions if this is where yep. you're going to go down. And, and maybe you need. And look, I don't know at all because I'm just surmising. But if that was the case, and then Dimmer thought, well, maybe it's not going to be the best thing. I probably would have rather if if he was, as Damo says, um, preparing to do this. He had turned around and said, "Look, I've taken advice, whether it be from anyone, Luke or anyone." And and just on that, Gary, he was never going to lead it. And no, that was no, 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 So he's no part of the group. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I agree. And, now, and I now think it's better to be working in a conciliatory uh, manner rather than an adversarial. And that's all I said. I rang him today, and I said, uh, well, I think "Reading this story, I think I said, Listen, is this what your plans are doing?" He said, "No, it never was my intention to me." And I said, well, that's the case. You need to clear it up because otherwise it, it, it doesn't look well, great from your point of view. Look, and also what, 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 it's divisive you, from a club point of view. Well, if you think you've got a better alternative, put it up, tell us your plan, sell it to everyone, go in and do it, go in and meet the club. That's the way to do it. And look, I'm, I'm not mucking around with this. This is your footy club. And, no, it, and you lose a few games and this stuff's really yep. divisive as well. So, do it, uh, so let, me, let me just put in context a no comment that went on the footy show last night. That was after it was relayed to him what I'd heard. No comment. So, and that's, what I, that's the question I put to him. I said, do you understand that that gives an inference that perhaps there is something going on? He said, well, maybe I'm a bit naive in this world. If maybe you, I'm a bit naive in terms of the way that's perceived in the media, which... No, I, I would refute if you had the opportunity, If you had the opportunity to bug the Duke's phone today, <laughs> here's how the conversation with Paul DiMartino would have started off. He would have rung, he said, now listen here, Pinhead, you've cocked this up and here's what you're going to do to fix it. <laughs> And everything that he's done from then on has been about backtracking, Damo, from the discussions you had. And the old Mr. Smug down here in the front, the power would, broker. Hey, hey, I you, agree with Gary. Got would, a lot of influence. Would anyone broker. out there think that that sounds more like me or more like the chief? That's that's you, mate. That's 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 you, to, I spoke to Paul after you spoke to him today, and that pretty much, I think, might have been how it went down. Yes. <laughs> and let's not forget that also Chief's under the pump. So he hasn't <laughs> yeah. told us about Chris Pelkin. And well, exactly at least what's I have been on. up front. What do you mean? Just repeating the news, if you haven't he already resigned. heard it, Chris Pelkin has exclamation quote, quotation marks resigned from you, Yeah, Hawthorne. don't, 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 don't I make light of it. Don't resigned. make light of it. You are being very facetious. No, and you need to be careful. But about that's it. Can you clear, us, clear it up? Right, for let me take case. the exclamation. I cleared it marks up. Off. He resigned. There's nothing more to it. Just walked out. What position? Just was had it? enough of Hawthorne and walked out. I don't know. I didn't have he was the discussion. Li- oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He was the list and development manager that basically put the premiership team together with Chief and now has been... Highly uh, unusual to resign in the middle of the year, Chief. Highly. Hey, uh, extraordinary. Never happened before, Chief. You make of it what you will. Well, you have to. I can only tell you what happened. never happened before. I can only tell you what happened. Well, what happened then? Why did he resign? I don't know. I didn't have those discussions. Is he he going, resigned. Is he going, as has been suggested, to Essendon? I don't know. Why not? I, 
<laughs> because I don't know. Well, you should. It's I got, don't run the club, Gary. Yes, you do. We have, no, we have, administ- we have a fantastic <laughs> chief executive director. officer in Stuart Fox. Now, Chris Pelgan would be a part. Chris Pelgan well, would be a part of the got senior got management <laughs> team. Speaking about they getting handle got, these. It's got nothing to do with speaking me. Speaking about <laughs> getting got at, that phone call just... One minute to six. You did. So like, you did get did taken calls, Chief, which did you don't normally change. do. And how do you know that you wasn't... you normally a Maverick operator, Chief. How do you know that wasn't some little piece of... Because it says S. Oh! S- <laughs> <laughs> because you had a different look on your face when you came in, Chief. Because no, you said, no, no, no. You said, g'day, mate. Yeah. And you, and you, and you That's fight. the cover. <laughs> That's the cover. No, you didn't say that. You went... Yeah, yeah, g'day, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me get out. Yeah, and mate. Your yeah. phone says Stuart Fox on it because I glanced no, at it. Oh, it's face down. It's face. I had a look at it. See what I'll do, Duke. Oh, here we go. I'll go, oh, through, I'll go, I'll go yeah, through, yeah. through, 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 through the contacts. Miss, I, I, no, missed calls. No, this no, is no, 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 sorry, take me calls. Let me go. Okay, received here, calls. Here are the contestants. Received, received calls. Tell me if you see a Stuart Fox don't, there. Just, just want to see received calls. Damo's no gone Stuart with the received Fox. calls. Nope. <laughs> it's a warrior climb all over. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about a, a man who's quite capable of deleting calls, Chief. Oh, He's had some experience with a phone and being able to do that I've got very little experience with the phone. I don't know how to work it. Right. I tell you what, as soon as the phone got produced, Amo lent Ford in his chair. Yeah, I tell you what, calls. Jim, I'll be happy later tonight. Oh, 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 oh